For season three of The Voice, coaches Blake Shelton, Christina Aguilera, CeeLo Green, and Adam Levine joined forces for an emotional rendition of Leonard Cohen's Habaluja to honor those lost in the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. It was a poignant musical moment, with each singer showing reverence and love with their vocal delivery. You can watch the performance, which originally aired on NBC in 2012, here. Originally penned by Cohen for his 1984 album Various Positions, cover versions include those by Jeff Buckley, Rufus Wainwright, Susan Boyle, Cody Lee, Pentatonix, Bob Dylan, Key D. Lang, Brandy Carlisle, Willie Nelson, Chester Bennington, and more. In a world rife with uncertainty, where the clamor of discord often drowns out the melodies of harmony, the power of music to heal and unite remains an unwavering constant. It was this universal truth that led to a moment of pure, unadulterated magic, as the original coaches of The Voice joined forces to deliver a cover of Leonard Cohen's Hal Luja that resonated deep within the souls of all who heard it. This collaboration was not just a performance, it was a poignant reminder of the transcendent power of music and the unity it can foster. The stage was set under the canopy of a twilight sky, the ambience filled with an anticipatory silence, as if the heavens themselves had paused to listen. The first strains of the familiar, haunting melody began to weave through the air, a solitary piano laying the groundwork for what was to become an unforgettable musical experience. Then, one by one, the iconic coaches took their place at the microphone, each bringing their unique voice and spirit to the song. First to sing was the soulful powerhouse, whose voice, rich and deep, seemed to tug at the very heartstrings of those listening. Each word was imbued with an emotion so raw, so real, that it felt as though the lyrics were being etched into the soul. As the last note of their verse faded away, the baton was passed to the rocker of the group, whose gritty, impassioned delivery added a layer of intensity to the song, transforming Cohen's timeless classic into something entirely new, yet equally profound. Next came the pop icon, whose clear, melodic voice brought a sense of hope, a lightness to the song that soared above the somber chords, reminding listeners of the beauty that exists even in moments of sorrow. And finally, the country star, whose warm, resonant tones spoke of home and heart, grounding the song in a sense of authenticity and truth. As the chorus arrived, their voices joined together in harmony, a confluence of differing styles and timbers that blended seamlessly into a sound that was at once haunting and uplifting. Hallelujah! They sang, each repetition of the word more powerful than the last, a collective call to find joy in the midst of trials, peace within chaos. The arrangement of the psalm was masterfully done, with each coach taking the lead in turn, yet never overshadowing the others. It was a delicate balance, a dance of voices that spoke volumes of their respect for one another and for the music they were creating together. The instrumentation was kept minimal, allowing the purity of their voices to shine, each note hanging in the air like a promise. But it was the final verse, sung in unison, that truly captured the hearts of those watching. Here, in this moment, was a message of unity, of coming together despite differences, to create something beautiful and lasting. Their voices, each so distinct, melded into a single, harmonious whole, a testament to the power of collaboration and mutual respect. The performance of Hallelujah by the original coaches of The Voice was more than just a cover of a beloved song. It was a moment of connection a bridge built between artists and audience, a shared experience that transcended the barriers of distance and time. In a world often divided, here was a reminder of what can be achieved when we join together, lending our voices to a common cause. The impact of their rendition was immediate and profound, sparking conversations about the role of music in healing divisions, in reminding us of our shared humanity. Social media was abuzz with reactions, videos of the performance shared and reshared, each post a ripple in the vast ocean of the internet, spreading a message of hope and unity. Critics and fans alike hailed the collaboration as a masterclass in musical expression, a demonstration of the enduring appeal of Hallelujah and the timeless need for songs that speak to the soul. The performance was praised not only for its vocal excellence, but for its emotional depth, for the palpable sense of camaraderie and shared purpose among the coaches. In the days and weeks that followed, 
The cover became something of an anthem, a beacon of light in times of darkness, a reminder of the good that can emerge when talented individuals come together for a cause greater than themselves. It was a call to action, to look beyond our differences and find the common ground that exists in the love of music, in the shared experiences of joy and sorrow, triumph and defeat. The Hallelujah cover by the original coaches of The Voice was more than just a musical performance. It was a moment of cultural significance, a point of connection in an increasingly fragmented world. It was a testament to the power of art to inspire, to heal, and to bring together, serving as a poignant reminder that in the end, we are all singing the same song, searching for the same truths, united in our humanity.